Okay, hi there. So, what I have here is the world's first, to our knowledge, cube with no springs. The only thing that's holding this together is magnets. And um, the reason we started this is simple physics. So springs, based on Hooke's law, they have a linear tension. The amount of force you shorten them by is how much force you get back that's pushing everything together. Whereas with magnets, it's inversely squared based on distance. So at a large distance, you're going to have a low amount of force, but at a short distance, you get a lot of force. What does this mean for solving? Well, it's something called modular tensions. And you'll see a similar thing with the weight-long spring, but the weight-long spring doesn't actually have modular tensions, even though they tried to have two different tensions. Because of Hooke's law, you only get one effective tension. But with magnets, that's different. So this, it's just a test model, the very first prototype. It's a Gans 356 V2 with magnets instead of springs. And it still needs a lot of refining. What I noticed first is it's very heavy. So um, springs, if you've looked at the Gans springs other than the GES nuts, there's several, they claim to have several newtons of force, and that's what we base this off of. Um, that's multiple kilograms of force. So we've aimed at having a few pounds of force as the springs and we think that's a little high so once we refine this we can bring it to the market but first impressions this is surprisingly good for what it is and um, let me show you some of the magnets inside let me disassemble this puzzle so the first thing we noticed is this is really cool um, the pieces they repel and they sort of levitate, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking about calling this maglev tension system. So here are the magnets on the core, and as you see, no spring whatsoever. There is no spring, and I, I you can see me push this up and it's pushed back down. And there's no spring friction either. So I can just spin it, and the only friction is between the pieces. So that's one less piece of friction in the cube. And as you can see, the magnet's repulsion. And I'll give you another demonstration right here with two magnets. So if we put magnets onto this screwdriver and push down on them, we can observe the effect of magnetism. And this is a demonstration for what, oops. So you see how there are two sets of magnets. And I'll push down on this, and it pushes back up. You see that? And that's the basis of how magnets can act as springs and cubes. So as we polish this idea, maybe figure out how to make it lighter, compensate by stronger magnets, we might be able to bring this as a product in the future. So, thanks for listening.